Wilma may do with her 200 peso budget to buy pork for her family. This comes after pork prices went up by 20 to 40 pesos a kilo from a month ago. Because of the price hike, she decided not to buy pork every day. Mga anak ko naman, okay na rin sa kanila. Pag alam nilang medyo konti, tagdadalawang slice lang sila. Pagkatsaka siya nilang naman. Kung isang kilo, wala na sa budget. Eh dati ito, dapat mga 3 na to, no? Mga 3 na to, kung noon kasi 220 lang eh. Retailers say high prices have once again affected their sales. Siguro po tataas po yung presyo. Dahil sabi nila kasi, ano, paubos na naman yung baboy. <laughs> For its part, the Agriculture Department admits higher demand is pushing prices up. This is why they are now looking into the possible imposition of a suggested retail price on pork. The decision is expected to be released this week. For early one month ago, bumababa pa yung farm grade prices. Eh. Then lately, as we are approaching Christmas, tumataas na kunti. This is one of the reasons. Why we, we are having a relook of this SRP mechanism. So itong supply ay uh, factor, factor mo yung ang isang uh, Pinoy family ay hindi lang yung kailangan nila pero yung mga with the opening up of the economy may mga bisibisita na yan. So demand is higher. Samahang industry and agriculture, however, fears there will be less pork supply in areas where the SRP will be imposed. Eh, tumataas yung ingredient, tumataas yung, uh, yung uh, freight. Dapat nila ibebenta dun sa malulugi sila. I-subsidize nila yung freight kapunta rito sa Metro Manila. Yan ang, yan ang the best na gawin ng government. The group believes there's no need for an SRP since there are available imported pork being promoted by the DA. The DA notes more imported pork still stuck in cold storages should be out in the market soon. After all, the purpose of allowing more imports is to bring down pork prices. The agency is now finalizing agreements with some LGUs in Metro Manila to provide freezers in wet markets for the release and sale of imported pork. Meanwhile, the DA is still waiting for the U.S. company to release results of the ASF vaccine testing. There are also two more firms interested to test their vaccines in the country. The Bureau of Animal Industry will be the institution determining it is always good first to do it in the municipalities or provinces na ma masyadong ma mataas dati yung uh, incidence ng uh, African swine fever. As for the indemnification to hog racers whose pigs were called due to ASF, the DA says President Duterte has approved a 461 million peso budget, which will be distributed soon. This brings government spending for indemnification of hog racers to 2 billion pesos. Shaila Francisco, we are One News.